Hey, good morning, friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. If you could hit the share button, we're going to talk about some good stuff. Most of us have had enough rain. Uh, that's the baseline. And some spots have had just plenty, plenty of rain in the last week or so. Uh, many spots approaching four, five, six inches of rain in the last week or so. Now we're getting into the cooler weather. So let's get on into it and show you what's going on. Current temperatures are still warm, but not hot in the southeast in uh, Ann Arbor and Detroit, still around 66 degrees. But then you get back to Saginaw and Grand Rapids and Lansing and you're around 60, upper 50s. And then you get back to, say, Traverse City and Gaylord, and you're in the low 50s, and you get back into the UP, and guess what? You are in <laughs> with temperatures in the 40s. Yes, that is correct. Hey, good morning, North Branch and Janet Sierdowski. Hopefully I got that right. Hola, Chris Ulin. Oh, okay, now, these are the dew point temperatures currently. Remember, dew points when they are in the 70s, most Michiganders don't like it because it feels like it's uh, Florida in the summer or New Orleans. Um, and when it's in the 50s, it's comfortable. So you can see the dew point, less than 60, I usually say is comfortable air for us Michiganders. And so that's the kind of air that's at Detroit and Ann Arbor right now. But then you go just back to the north of that, the dew point's dropping in the 50s. 56 in Saginaw and Grand Rapids, that's a fairly dry type air, not extremely dry. But then you get to the north and the dew points are in the upper 40s to low 50s. And that is a dry type air. And that's continuing to ooze southward through the day. Satellite picture shows we've got a pretty one lined up. We have a couple of patches of, no, oh, I guess what I would call uh, low clouds or fog coming in off of Saginaw Bay into the thumb to the Bay City and eastern part of Saginaw area. But you can see that's breaking up. And you can see the clouds in the southern part of the state, uh, Jackson, Coldwater, Adrian. Those are breaking up also. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine. And we'll all get into, I think, some fairly good sunshine today. Rose Mitchell loves the weather in Muskegon. I hear you there. All right, now, what's going on in the future? Fairly quiet forecast. Just a couple of weather makers. Uh, so today we are dry. We have a great today, and you can get out and mow that lawn. <laughs> yes, windows open weather. Paula Eckert. I wrote about that yesterday. And Carmelita Tiffany is going to start the canning up. Yes, we need the cooler days, the cooler evenings of August to get the canning going. All right, so we're into Wednesday, and that's a dry day. A little bit warmer ahead of a cold front that yesterday looked like it could spark a shower. I think it still could Wednesday night. But then the cold front shifts south Thursday, and we cool off. And we have a great Friday and a great Saturday. Uh, maybe a patch of some showers trying to approach late Saturday. Nothing real substantial. Tammy Langley's loving this weather too. And now we're into Sunday right there. And so the next weather maker, not really slated until we get to Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Temperatures. You'll love these. Um, let's call it uh, 75 to 80 today for most folks. And tomorrow we bounce back up, mid 80s, maybe a few upper 80s ahead of that cold front. And then the cold front comes through on Thursday. We'll call it 75 to 80 in the south, 70 to 75 in the north. And Friday, work skipper Friday, a classic Friday. Get your schedule all done so you can enjoy the afternoon, you're going to want to be done by noon on Friday, uh, upper 70s to about 80. Saturday, maybe a touch warmer by a degree or two. And Sunday, add on another degree or two. Get us to 80 to 85, summery 
uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, some mid to upper 80s, and Wednesday. So we'll start to see some warmth build back in the first half of the week, but this is August. This will be mid-August by then, and that means another cold front as advertised by this model, and then our temperatures cool down again. And by the way, I got to remind you that typically at this time of year, each cool down, each cold front is a degree or two cooler than the last one. So guess what? It's starting. We still got plenty of summer left. Uh, you know, we still got at least a month of more summer days than fallish hinting days, but we know it's definitely coming to an end. And I wanted to show you just that the humidity is going down. The best way to show you, although it's really the most un misunderstood thing in weather, is the dew point. So just focus on the fact that if the dew points are in the 50s or 40s, we're going to have comfortable weather. So this forecast goes through the day today and uh, pretty comfortable weather. You can even see how moisture in the air comes off of Lake Huron and off of Saginaw Bay and can work its way in for just, just a touch more humid feel. And then here's Wednesday. We do get a little bit more humid ahead of that cold front. That's what we call moisture pooling. But then you can see Wednesday night how the much drier air just starts to pour in in waves. And that's what we'll feel Thursday into Friday and Saturday. So, like it? I guess we'll have to. <laughs> we can't do anything about it. Um, sunshine, lower humidity today, cooler, very comfortable weather. Um, maybe a quick shower or thunder shower tomorrow night. And then the next batch, reinforcing batch of dry and slightly cooler air heads our way for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And the weekend right now looks good. Saturday, I'd call it, you know, just feeling like summer. And Sunday, I would call it quite summery at 80 to 85 degrees. Thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update. And good morning, Margaret Winnie from Benzonia, beautiful Benzonia, Benzie County, the um, unhidden, the, how would I say it, the hidden gem of Lower Michigan, right? Thanks for joining me. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have a great Tuesday.